It is a beautiful day across East Texas. Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell taking advantage of the spring like weather and the extra hour of sunlight. He joins us live from Bergfeld Park and Tyler and Marcus. It seems like that's quite the hot spot this evening. <laughs> Casey, it is the hot spot. We have a lot of kids and their families that are here. And with it being spring break, no better way to be spending the day than being outside. I did my uh, cutting of the grass this morning at home. So I got my share of outside. And now I get to be outside again. And it's a lot of fun. We've had a couple of kids come up and say hello. Guys, are y'all enjoying spring break? Yes. All right. That is great. Well, we have some changes coming our way with the weather. So we get one more day of sunshine for tomorrow. Okay, and then we got some rain coming in on Friday and some clouds and still some rain probably coming in this weekend. Do you guys like rain? <laughs> no, you don't like rain? It ruins the day. It ruins the day. Well, there you have it right there. That is the phrase of the day right there. Hey, I understand. Guys, thank y'all for stopping by and saying hello. Y'all are really fun. I'm glad y'all are having a great day so far. Let's look around and see what some of the other things that we have here at the park. So we have a little mini castle. This is actually something I really enjoy here. Check this out. You got kids that are just riding around in circles, almost like a little wheel there. Man, that is fantastic. And there's even one more over there. Look back this way, Katie. Look at that there. That is great. Really neat. I, I don't think I can stand on that and do the weather at the same time. I think I might have uh, might have a little episode if that were to happen, but that's okay. Hey, it's a lot of fun. The sun will set just before 7:30. So get out and enjoy the great weather. You'll be able to do it again for tomorrow. We did touch 80 degrees in many areas this afternoon. We'll show you where we stand right now with the temperatures. We are into the upper 70s and still near 80 for a few spots. Gilmer at 79, 77 in Nacogdoches, 78 is the temperature over in Crockett right now, and it's going to be another warm day come tomorrow. Let me show you the forecast breakdown of what's coming our way. We'll start tomorrow with cloud cover once again, but then sunshine will take over breezy, if not windy at times for tomorrow. We're going to be tracking some wind gusts that could approach near 30 miles an hour at times for tomorrow afternoon. Now we are also going to monitor a chance for a few thunderstorms. This chance is primarily going to be focused in our northern area. So let me show you that here with Futurecast. That's the early afternoon and you'll notice that we'll see a few isolated showers trying to form back toward the DFW area, but the chances will actually pick up a little bit more as we get toward late afternoon and evening. There's the approaching front and you'll notice some of these storms will start to work their way into East Texas. There is a threat for a few of them to be strong to severe if they were to occur. It would be a hail and damaging wind threat, but I think this is mostly north of I-20. So areas south of I-20, not necessarily a big concern with the storm threat, but we will have some rain that will increase for everybody. And when I say rain increasing for everyone, it doesn't mean that we'll see a lot of rain. The best chance of rain actually will be focused north of I-20 come Thursday night into Friday where one to two inches will be possible. And we're also cooling down on Friday. Temperatures will drop down to near 60 over the central and northern areas, but south of Highway 79 in deep east Texas, you're still going to be in the 70s. The weekend also has some scattered showers that will still be possible as we warm back up. So it'll be humid this weekend, along with some off and on rain. And deep east Texas tomorrow still in the 80s, but notice that temperature change come Friday into the lower 70s and right back upper 70s later on this weekend. It's been a great last couple of days. Kids enjoying it here on spring break and enjoy it tomorrow before we start to see those changes. All right, Marcus, thank you. Coming